Shalom. Barak to Yahweh, Barashim, Yahushai, Barashim, Makakadash. All praises and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much respect to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, and to all the brothers out there doing the work, I say Shalom. All right, I have another lesson for you today. And, uh, you know, where there is no vision, the people perish. That's going to be my title. Now, before we get started on that lesson, I wanted to uh, play a clip of a video that I saw last night from uh, Elder Yashawamba out in Dallas. All right. And basically, you know, you see the title here, The Accuser is Cast Down and Desperate. And again, you know, if you know who the accuser is talking about, that's the false accuser, right? Which is the devil. We're not talking about some spiritual entity, all right? You know, Satan is a spiritual entity in the heavens, all right? But down here on earth, again, when you look up the word Satan, Satan, it means adversary. And it's talking about the human counterpart who is adverse to the Most High and His Son and His chosen people. All right? And again, that's all over the scriptures. All right? Where you read about Him. And it tells you who Him is, who they are. All right? And it's talking about Esau, Edom, the Edomite. There's, he's known as a white man to you. Okay? But in reality, Again, that's a social construct created by him in 1681 to call himself white, all right? Because in the scriptures, the scriptures deal with nations, nationalities, okay? It doesn't deal with, you know, a color construct, all right? The Lord doesn't deal with that. That's a creation of Esau to further hide himself. Okay, and to keep everybody confused. Okay, so that you wouldn't even come into knowing who you are. All right. So anyway, I want to play a little bit of this clip. And again, you know, hopefully, you know, the brother, when we hear him, Elder Yachwamba, come on, he's going to tell you again, pretty much these things are staged. Okay, and again, we don't condone, you know, anybody killing anybody, all right, or anything to do with guns or whatever, all right, we don't have anything to do with that, and we don't need to worry about that, because our power, all right, is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that's all the power you need, okay, that's all the power you need, and if you're in these scriptures, you're consumed in them, your encounter with Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, guess what, then, you know, you're pretty much under the what? The wings of the Most High. Okay, as you read in Psalms 91. Okay, so what is there for you to worry about? Nothing. The Lord, you're under the Lord's protection. And you have to trust in that. All right? As a believer, you should have no doubts. Okay? The Lord is going to take care of his own, okay? That one-third, that remnant, that house of David that has returned unto him, okay? Because these are the scriptures. This is the testimony. You understand? It's all in here, all right? But you're going to see Master Jay uh, being brought up, and that will tell you that this stuff here is pretty much a stage event, Okay? That guy's a joke. That guy's an agent for the government. All right? And that's already been brought out. Okay? Many, many videos have been done in the past where this guy comes out of nowhere. And, you know, that's what he is. All right? He's, he's serving his master. All right? So anyway, let's play uh, this clip of the video, and then we're going to get into our lesson. All right? So uh, let's do that, all right?
the county property where they found him hiding in a treehouse. Officials say the fugitive had multiple flashbangs, two rifles, two handguns, body armor, rifle plates, and ammunition with him inside that treehouse. What he said to us, you guys know who I am, you guys know what I'm capable of, and it could have been a lot worse. Officials say the property where Wallace was found is affiliated with an organization called the Not Effing Around Coalition, a black nationalist paramilitary organization. We've been accused of owning property that we don't own. That's NFAC Supreme Commander Grandmaster J. He says Wallace was a member of the organization from July 2020 until January of this year. He adds during that time. There's your Grandmaster J. And like I says, he's an agent provocateur that's already been proven many, many times over. All right. So do you understand, people? They're just simply setting the stage. They want to link Israelites to being terrorists, all right? So, you understand? Okay, let's continue. Wallace never caused any problems for the organization. He left us, and, and uh, what he did after that, that's his life. He's still our brother, and his side of the story needs to be heard. That's why we have a court system. That's why we have a court system. Now, to be clear, Grandmaster Jay says clear, that Grand his organization Master is not organization affiliated is with that property at with that all. Property. As for uh, Wallace, we're still waiting to learn Wallace, exactly when he will get exactly it into the car and actually make his way back to Florida. We're going to find that out, hopefully, find from that, out, that organization, from, from the police that department in Daytona Beach. We'll let you know as soon as we know. Reporting live in DeKalb County. I'm sure they're trying to make that happen very soon. make that happen very soon. All right, Shalom. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachachachorash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I'm going to speak on this real briefly. Um, brothers have already done videos on it, and we already know what's up. All right, we were living in the times where, um, you know, agents are going to show their head. They've, they've, they've been around. We've been prophesying about it. Well, here we go. Let the games begin. Because, you know, Esau's only um, way to stop what he, well, he, what, what, he can't stop this truth. But in his mind, he believes if he can paint us as carnal, okay, he'll be able to uh, formulate an attack and be justified in obliterating us and, you know, ultimately painting the, the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, because that's all this is, uh, that's all that's being done. You know, that guy you saw. And what is it that it says in the scriptures? Right? Second Corinthians, right? 10 and 4, what does it say? It says that our weapons of warfare are not carnal, right? But mighty, right? Through our God power, Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh Shai, to the what? To the bringing down of their strongholds. What are their strongholds? Their deceptions and lies. Do you understand, people? Esau is carnal. We are not. You understand that? All right. Let's continue. All right. Oh, uh, pop up. Uh, Grandmaster Jay. When he first came on the scene, all right, uh, that we don't own. That's that don't NFAC. Own. So NFAC. That's, that's the so-called leader of the uh, NFAC, which he just popped up out of nowhere now. Probably a year or months prior to him, you know, becoming this big NFAC, NFAC leader, you know, brothers share videos. We, we, we always constantly watching. We're constantly sharing things. And there was a video of him on YouTube or World Star Hip Hop, you know, complaining about some things. I remember him saying the Hebrew Israelites, they're not, those brothers ain't out there, you know, pushing gun violence. They're just push, pushing the word. You know, he wasn't speaking as if he was a Hebrew Israelite. All right, then all of a sudden he popped up as the big commanding leader of this NFAC. They walking around with guns. He's promising, you know, if it's another Jake shot, he's going to show up. All right, and, and they're going to, you know, uh, apply, you know, uh, the sword to the police, all this type of crap. And he had the Egyptian onk. All right, he was just talking a bunch of nonsense. And then all of a sudden, he pops up, you know, uh, months later, he just throws the term Yahweh in the Bible and, and, and 
you know, the uh, the Israelites out there, you know, which this guy, you know, he's a, uh, you know, he was a professional DJ. He was a presidential candidate. Look it up. He was a presidential candidate. And there's video of him sitting behind Donald Trump in one of his speeches. So who the hell is this guy? He just popped up out of nowhere. And he's just, this, you know, big. And that's what they do. All right. They just they'll just throw particular uh, Jake out there and then all of a sudden they're attaching Hebrew and Israelite to their uh, whole platform which is all a ploy because what the devil ultimately wants to do is which we've been telling you he wants to do is link us to terrorism all right all of this is just a damn uh, stage man now whether the all right there you go people all right that's enough of that all right let's go uh... You know, I just wanted to uh, make a few comments, all right, and uh, let you hear the brother. Uh, we're going to get into our video now, all right? So give me a minute, all right? All right. Uh, Proverbs 29, 18, where there is no vision, the people perish, all right? But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Now, that's the scripture we're just going to deal with in this lesson, all right? And you'll say to yourself, well, wait a minute, you know, that's like two and a half lines of scripture. And that's the book. All right. Well, guess what, people? All right. This is deep. And you're going to see that for yourselves to give you understanding because we're going to look words up. And we're going to get into the meaning of them. Understand? To give you what? Better understanding. And of course, hit precepts. You got that? All right. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, we're going to click on it. This is the blue letter, all right? And let's start with, again, where there is no vision, the people perish, right? So we want to look up the key word here is where there is no vision, all right? See? Where there is no vision, all right, the people perish. So let's start with vision, okay? Let's start with that word. All right. Strong's H2377. Chazon. Chazon. All right. Chazon. All right. Vision, all right? Vision in the static state. Vision in night. Vision, oracle, prophecy, divine communication. In other words... They're not in concert with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's what vision would be if you're able to see. Okay? Vision as in the title of the book, Prophecy. Right? All right? In the prophecies. That you're able to what? To not only read them, but to understand what you're reading. You have, again, you have to understand the... Uh, etymology of words, all right? Get into the root words, like what we're doing, okay? In the Greek, in the Hebrew, in the Latin, you have to understand that you're dealing with uh, not just the etymology of words, but in the form of it being, you know, symbolism, an allegory, uh, parabolic, metaphoric. Do you understand? Okay, like, when you're talking about the chariot, the chariots are not just called chariots, they're called the chariots of fire, they're called cloud, they're called whirlwinds. Do you understand? And what is that? That's an allegory, that's symbolism. Still talking about the same thing. All right? Do you understand? All right? Let's give you an example. See, sight. See this? A sight, mentally. All right, talking about vision here, right? Sight, mentally. In other words, uh, what does it say in uh, Proverbs? Okay, give me a minute. All right, this is Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Okay, spiritually and mentally dead, like from the neck up. You people understand that? All right? All right, we're going to end this here. We'll be right back with part two. 
All right, and we're going to get back into the blue letter there. All right, Shalom. We'll be right back in part two.